Okay, so I want to talk about a case I had today because I think it illustrates the very real iatrogenic harm healthcare providers can have by not being up to date. It was this patient who's had anterior hip pain bilaterally for about 10 years. She'd been very functional for all these years, just having some non-lasting uh, pain when doing end range of flexions with like child poses or doing rotation stuff like pigeon poses during yoga. So like typical FAI diagnosis, which is what I diagnosed her with. Um, I have no issue with that because that's what the other healthcare provider said. But what I have a big problem with uh, is with fucking nonsense. The many healthcare providers, which she saw for this, by the way, in another country, well, they told her that she would. She had a twisted SI joint and an uneven sacrum, which is what caused her hip pain, and that she shouldn't exercise without supervision uh, because it was going to make her imbalances or asymmetry and posture worse and make the problem worse. First of all, 90% of the population has a like length discrepancy. Two, it does not seem to increase the chance of pain under 50 millimeters. Three, there's no paper I've heard of saying SI joint problems can cause hip pain. It doesn't even make sense biomechanically. Your hip can move 135 degrees just in flexions on average, and the sacrum moves like zero to 2.2 degrees on average. If you wanna be obsessed with the biomedical model, like biomechanics, at least be fucking good at it and have some perspective. That makes no sense. It's like focus on one thing when you have so much more. It's like literally a thousand percent increment difference. Who gives a shit? Four, the sacrum nonsense has been debunked more than 20 years ago when Talbert did a study in 1988 and he showed that her sacrum manipulation do not alter the SI joint position uh, at all. And then five, even if we could, we would not know which direction to give the manipulation in because the movement of the sacrum is too fucking small to detect with her hands. It's zero to eight millimeters. And you're trying to feel that through a thick tendon and ligaments. We can't feel that, which is why none of the tests that we have uh, to test the SI joint position are of clinically reliable values. So they're useless. That was a systematic review that was done by clerks in 2020, but these studies have been out for a long time. Laza did a paper on this in the 2000s. And even if those tests were reliable, we can't change the SI joint mobility with manipulations based off this 2020 clinical trial by Toledo and all. But the worst in all that is what I perceive as a gross lack of perspective from these clinicians who have honestly failed this patient. Like, yes, what they said was outdated. Okay, that's not the big deal. Mostly the problem is that they took a patient who had been functional for 10 years. Like, yeah, she had pain and it's not great to have pain. And it's okay to tell someone like, hey, it's not normal to have pain in these range. But they're right. But they basically made her afraid and non-functional. You know, when I asked the patient what her reason for a consultation was, she said it was because she was afraid of making her posture and imbalances worse by working out uh, on her own, if she was working out on her own. So that she needed a physio to supervise her, which is what she was told by the other healthcare pr uh, practitioners. She, they told them she was gonna get injured and make it worse if she did that on her own. Not only did they make my job harder, because it's really hard to change someone's mind once these ideas, these nocebic ideas of set in, these unhelpful beliefs, but those therapists directly made this patient more fearful and made her less functional, which is the opposite of her fucking job. Like you look at her job descriptions, we're trying to make people less disabled to be able to cope their pain better. They're literally just made them worse with their, with their words. As physios, chiros, whatever, I don't care what your title is. If you work in MSK with patients, her job is to make patients feel less disabled and more empowered to move not make them worse by creating imaginary dysfunctions that put them in a movement jail where we're the warden. That is stupid and outdated. Of course, it's not the patient's fault. They're not supposed to know that. They're not supposed to read the science. It's really boring, so it'd be weird if they did. It's your job. Whoever treated her, that was your job, and it was several people, so it was you guys' job. So this is why you need to stay up to date, because in this case, if you're one of those therapists that saw this patient, the patient would literally be better off if they had not seen you at all. You know, if they just keep kept going. So shame on you. Do fucking better. End of rant. Thank you.